Hey everyone, so I just got another Nendoroid package. Um, this time it wasn't ordered through AmiAmi, Ami, it was ordered through Tokyo Otaku Mode. I just felt like I should make a video since I don't think a lot of people order from there. Um, I went on YouTube and I don't really see that many Tokyo Otaku Mode videos. So I'm thinking of doing it. Also, this time I'm making the right choice and I'm recording landscape. Yeah, I know. Beginner mistake. But... All right, this is how the packaging is. It's still pretty nice, it's still pretty. This is the standard shipping that takes 47 business days to arrive. It still is pretty heavily secured. I didn't have a problem with it. But yeah, let's look inside. Um, here's a... All right, so it looks like, oh, that's a clear file folder with virtual YouTuber Zero. That's pretty neat. I like how they did that. I will definitely be using that. And then here's his invoice. And this is how they package the number right With bubble wrap and paper. So it was handled pretty well. It's pretty nice. All right. It looks like there's nothing else hidden. You never know. I mean, I didn't expect a clear file folder. Let me just remove the bubble wrap. All right, here we go. It looks official. Obviously, you can kind of tell. And yeah, I got Cosma from Konosuba this time. It looks pretty good. I got this because at Tokyo Otaku Mode, they were doing a um, thank you campaign where if you bought certain figures, you would get 51% cash back. So I bought this got about $26 back. I already had a store credit of like 36. So, I used the Tom points, which is their in-store currency, to pre-order Megumin, the rerun of Megumin, which they still have surprisingly. And then I earned a bit more um in-store currency by doing other things, and I got the new virtual YouTuber Noja Loli Oji-san. Because that ran out and I needed it. For some reason, Tokyo Otaku Mode always seems to have figurines available after all the big name um, figurine stores like Ami Ami and not my figure collection, but you know, all those other big stores that you can pre order after they're sold out. For some reason, Tokyo Otaku Mode always seems to still have them for pre order. I pre ordered Kizuna Ai back in June. She was released in November. The downside of Tokyo Talking Mode is that they release their figurines about three to two months after they've been officially released. But I mean, they look legit. I just think that they order a lot in the beginning and pre-order a lot in the beginning. And since a lot of people don't go to Tokyo Talking Mode, that makes them still readily available for pre-order later on. But... I'm hoping to get Keys and I by January. I this is this was already not a pre-order. This was an in-stock item, so it's good to know that in-stock items come pretty available and pretty fast. For pre-orders, I don't know yet. I will keep everyone updated. Most likely, I'm gonna buy another Keys and I just because I like Keys and I. There's also like official figure sellers around here where I live, so you know I kind of don't want to wait anymore. But we shall see. I'm going to unbox this and we will see how he looks like. Back, he's out of the box and this plastic shield is still up here. But yeah, let's see what we get. We get another leg. We get two faces. Him shocked. Him looking sinister. Normal smiling face. We get more hands, more arms. We get the crate water, we get his sword, 
forgot what he named it. Oh, wait, no, because Megumi named it, so I forgot what it was. So I know it was something weird, like, you know, her cat, Chun Chun Maru. Not, no, that's the name of the sword. Holy shit. <laughs> that was the name of the sword. And then there's Chomusuke, which is the cat. Oh my god, how did I... Anyway, then here are the panties that he steals. Um, and you know, I'm going to obviously get them out, and I'm going to have them displayed for a bit. So, you know, wait like literally like half a hey second. Guys, here he is. I have him equipped with a sword. Um, so there was a little bit of an issue when I put him on. I was not able to really like, get the back joint on here, so I tried really hard, and this part right here kind of broke off. Um, this was left out in the porch for a bit. It is kind of cold here, so I feel like the sudden change in warmer temperature kind of made the plastics a bit more hard, but I was able to, you know, put it back. These parts are pretty, you know, expendable. You can kind of, like, put them back. It wasn't, like, a complete snap, and, I mean, it's still sturdy. Um, if anything, I can just, like, permanently glue this part to here, but I understand why it's detachable now, so you can attach this to his back first, because it's a bit hard to do it attached to this stand, which is what I did. And that was my mistake. But yeah, he looks pretty good. Um, you know, his cape is moving a bit. Stand is standard. Obviously, the build on him is pretty good. You know, hair quality is good. Okay, one thing is also because since it was cold, these parts were kind of stuck together. So they kind of like pry him a bit. And his hair's pretty spiky and it hurts my fingers. But it's all good. You know, everything's good. Um, I like just doing the standard kind of poses at the moment. Here are the extra stuff. Um, like I said, also with Gabriel, I'm most likely going to leave him in his box until I head back to university. Um, but at least now I have a second Konosuba Nendo. Because I had Union, now I have Kazuma. I have Megamine pre-ordered. <laughs> I know some places that have Darkness and Aqua, I believe still in stock, I should check. But, once I get those two, I am set for the whole set. Which will be pretty good. Um, I'm also having, the only set that I completely know that I have pre-ordered and finished when the last one comes, you know, unless another one is released, are the virtual YouTubers and virtual streamers. I pre every time one of them goes up, I pre-order them because you know virtual YouTubers are pretty neat. Um, what else? What else? You know, feel free to stay in. This is again from Tokyo Otaku Mode. A lot of people don't seem to shop with them. Um, it's kind of a weird site, but it's also pretty good if you know how to work the system, I guess. Um, like I said, I've kind of like barely paid that much for my figures and they seem to come here and obviously they're the official figures The day I get a bootleg from them will probably the, be the day I stop buying from them But I doubt it Tokyo talk mode is based in Tokyo and they do manage like importing goods to other countries like not only just Nendoroids, but like you know like snacks um, plushies stuff like that but yeah Hopefully to see you guys again soon when I receive some more Nendos. And yeah, see ya.